Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while since the last installment of this series, slowly, slowly getting there. Um, we'll be at the halfway point after this one. Of course, we're counting down my favourite albums of all time. We are up to 60 through 51. So I think it's time to get straight into it. Um, number 60, first appearance of this band. Um, Led Zeppelin 4 is my number 60. I think it's fantastic. Um, another album where maybe a few years ago it would have been a bit higher on the list, but these songs are so um, sort of ever-present and iconic that it's sort of like I've heard them enough now <laughs> for a while. Um, songs like Black Dog and Rock and Roll and um, Stairway to Heaven. I don't really need to hear them that much anymore, but I can still listen to songs like Misty Mountain Hop and Going to California and Battle of Evermore, and I never get sick of them. So it's still a classic album. Great playing, great songs. Front to back, pretty much, it's pretty excellent. So um, that comes in at number 60. It's one of the all-time greats for sure. 59 is In the Court of the Crimson King. Obviously, Glenn Calloway came on the channel to talk King Crimson. Um, Check out that video if you haven't. We talked about our favourite songs from the first seven albums. Um, and this is my favourite King Crimson album. Um, I think it's just, again, fantastic from front to back. The title track is tremendous. Epitaph, so beautiful. 21st Century Schizoid Man, so cool. A lot of variety in the album. Um, a lot of melody as well, actually, which is quite cool to go with the sort of the improvisation Improv improvisational parts of the album um yeah i think it's one of the greatest prog albums of all time um suppose there aren't that many prog albums above it but it's one of my favorites for sure 58 it's led zeppelin again and this is my favorite led zeppelin album and it is houses of the holy which might be a little bit controversial but as you can see it's this and four it's like neck and neck only two spots in it I think House of the Holy is fantastic. I absolutely love um, Jamaica. is just such a ridiculous song. For the first time I heard it, I was like, is this Led Zeppelin? Or is it just sound like a pretty different band? But my favourite on the album is Over the Hills and Far Away. I also love the Rain song. Um, just the whole album is great. The crunch is, meh, is okay, but the rest of the album is so good that it kind of just carries it up um, into the stratosphere for me. 57, another album I've talked about a good bit on the channel. Um, those of you who follow the album rankings will remember that I love this album, but it is not my favourite from this artist, so stay tuned where the number one is, because it is Black Celebration by Depeche Mode. Um, it's my number two in the Depeche Mode ranking. Go check that out if you haven't. I think it's one of the better videos that we've done, me and Sam. And yeah. I think Black Celebration is well worth its hype. Um, Question of Lust is one of my favourites. Stripped, um, Here is the House, just so many fantastic, fantastic songs on here. So um, could not have it on the list. And it's sad that these albums aren't making the top 50, but that just kind of shows the, the level of competition we've got here. Um, 56 is Transatlanticism by Death Cab for QT. Really cool album, has some of their best songs for sure. Um, it's sort of a step into a more commercial direction. I think it is just a good sweet spot between that early, more lo-fi sound and the later, um, yeah, more more commercial, softer sound. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan of, of Tiny Vessels and the sound of Settling and the title track is great as well. The New Year is just a song I listen to every New Year now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a really strong, strong album uh, coming in at number 56. 55, we're going to stay in the 2000s. And we have Sound of Silver by LCD Sound System. Again, how this isn't making my top 50 is kind of blowing my mind, but I absolutely love this album. Um, Get Innocuous is an absolutely amazing way to start. That The first like five or six track run is just incredible. Um, Someone Great and All My Friends are both all-time great songs for my money. And then you end on the amazing New York, I Love You, But You're Bringing Me Down, which is this, after all this sort of electronic music, this sort of this lovely piano ballad, it sort of crescendos brilliantly and just a really well-written piece of music. 
um, some great lyrics on there. Um, kind of speaks to me, even though it's sort of written for people a bit older than me, that sort of slightly older generation. I still find a lot to connect to with this album um, and my experiences. Uh, 54, and uh, another album I've talked about. Um, it's funny that I actually talk about music on this channel, but um, 54 is St. Dominic's Preview by Van Morrison, which was fairly high on my 1972. I'm trying to remember where it was. It was number three, I think, for 1972. Um, this is just a tremendous album. Uh, it's my favorite Van Morrison album. Jackie Wilson said, one of my all-time favorite songs. The title track is tremendous as well. Listen to The Lion, tremendous. Um, yeah, there isn't a bad song on there, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's just, just short of the top 50. And then 53, David Bowie with Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. It's not Bowie's first appearance. It won't be his last. Um, I think this is just an amazing beginning of the 80s for him. Um, Ashes to Ashes, of course, the song everyone knows, but Teenage Wildlife might be my favourite song on the album now. Fashion is fantastic. The title track is great. Um, you can't really go wrong with Bowie, and this album is brilliantly produced. So catchy. Such a grower as well. Robert Fripp's guitar really just destroys on the album. So, yeah, it's my number 53. 52, Elliot Smith with Figure Eight. Another album I've already talked about on the channel. Um, go check that video. That was an interesting video <laughs> that we did. Um, definitely one of the most shocking. Um, but Figure Eight, I think it's pretty well accessible to most people. It's got this sort of more pop-leaning sound than his earlier stuff. Um, yeah, really, really well-made album. Really nice songs. Um, not much else to say that I didn't already say in the Elliot Smith video. So that leaves us with 51 and another artist whose discography I've covered on the channel. And it is Ween with The Mollusk. And again, spoilers for the Ween video, wasn't my number one. So means we're going to get another Ween album. But The Mollusk is fantastic. The concept, the concept of it is really cool. Sort of loose concept, but still works really well. Um, the songs all kind of fit nicely together. Um, Ocean Man, obviously, amazing. Black and Green, obviously, amazing. Um, the Mollusk, the song is great. Um, it's going to be all right. Like, there's just so many fantastic songs on the album. And, uh, yeah, I, I I find it hard to believe that that this isn't, that, you know, it might, it might be Ween's most successful album because it has their weirdness, but it also has plenty of, melodicism in there as well so there we go another 10 done and it'll be getting really real next time because we'll be entering the top 50 which is going to be very 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 interesting to see see what kind of responses i get to my picks i know there was <laughs> the last video we definitely got some interesting responses to some of my picks but if an album has made the list i love it don't worry too much about you know, being a couple spots above another album. Um, this is just my personal picks. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching uh, if you made it this far. And, uh, yeah, um, obviously the uploads have not been as frequent, a lot of work stuff getting in the way, but um, I'm going to try and be a bit more consistent over this next month while I have some time off. Um but just a heads up that the album ranking videos are definitely going to be less frequent going into next year, just because it's not something that I find very manageable in terms of listening to all that music and pumping them out. So they will still be happening, but I'll, I'll sort of talk in a later video. Um, there will be some new series coming sort of similar to this where either there's no listening required or not as much listening required, make it a bit more manageable. So yeah. Thanks for watching anyway, and uh, hope to see you soon.